Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste. Love and blessings, love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And um, if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not please 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 drop me a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibration just give you a spiritual chill and saying girl i needed that for the day you know that was my inside coffee you know my inside impact coffee i need to go there and go ahead and pass it right on to the next person you never know it can impact them do the same or it can take them even you know further so with that being said i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video y'all um and the video i'm doing right now is twin slay 101 hey okas make sure those gift wraps are in goodbyes Ooh. i was listening to my girl um alicia this morning on um her channel and i was like hey you know she it, it was i forgot the title of hers but i said i went ahead and you know i'm gonna give her her credits for that but i'm gonna go ahead and you know you know freestyle it and mix it up in my way it's like you gotta uh, make sure those those gifts are gift wrapped and goodbyes you know there's a lot of times we entertain things longer than we should you know there's different times where we feel like um there's nothing else better out there you know in this situation or this is so certain things that we normalize that we know we needed to cut out and it is like this is that thing where Whatever you have gone through, whoever you have connected with, parts of yourself that you didn't realize that was there. And it, you know, it came up to the surface of that truth that you really had to digest, which may have been hard. Um, it's showing you there's so many different things out there um, that exposes you towards the truth for you to stop normalizing to be able to create create better for yourself and a lot of times we can go through different things um in our lives that you know it can be very hurtful it really 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 can you know i've been in my vibrations for a long time and to be able to step out of that is scary i won't even lie it's really scary because if you have been in that vibration for so long you know that old part of you sorry about that y'all been um go ahead and get my tea hold on Sorry about that, y'all. I have been really getting addicted to uh, my, my tea. I was going around. I went through my spring cleaning yesterday and then went through some different boxes that I had. And it was like, oh, my God, I found me some Lipton tea because I've been using the generic for so long. And I was just like, I actually found me a whole box of it. And I was just so happy. So I was just like, you know, universe know to be coming through for me. Um, but, yeah. You know, going through that, there there's different times where I have normalized uh, toxic behavior, but not within my, not just within myself, but others as well. You know, and it, it's just like a lot of times we realize that, like, oh girl, you know, or oh oh man, you know, I've been through so many toxic relationships, and not sit up here saying that every relationship that I've been in, you know, throughout the broad, it just don't have to be somebody you kicking it with in relations or baby mama, baby daddy. It could be family, it could be coworkers, it could be people you go to school with, you know, um. Uh, wives, husbands, you know, different things like that. And it doesn't always have to be men, you know, because there's a lot of times that I've connected, you know, uh, through different times, especially on heavy here since I've um, went on my spiritual awakening where I've met men that have gone through it with narcissistic abuse with women or they've been married into it or they, you know, to play the system because it's so easy for you to report a, a man doing some stuff to you and then when it's a woman people want to look at you like oh you know you can't control your wife you can't control your broad you know it would be different things like that and it's just like women don't go just go through that there's men that goes through it too you know and it, it's like it's sad but there's some of us out there that play the system like that you know and that's the scary thing about it because you know it's easy for men to do it and it's scary when you when you go through different things like that but there's uh you know women that are out there that you know go through that but these are the things where it's showing you hey this is your new year these are different things that you uh have gone through in your life now it's just like did you learn um did you learn from this situation did you understand of 
what it created for you to be able to recognize within yourself you know if you have connected with this and connected with it strongly and you wonder why every relationship is like that because it's getting you to know there's parts of you that relate strongly to that you are carrying those traits these are things that you have um, been exposed to to where you're forming that within yourself and they're trying to make sure this doesn't keep reoccurring into your life and for you to understand that these are the things that get you to grow these are getting you to heal and it's just not with the narcissistic abuse or but it's just anything that you have outgrown things that is no longer serving you this is a part of yourself where there's a new chapter in your life that's waiting for you and and you really need to invest in that universe knows your potential new universe wants knows and knows your power you know, and they're wanting you to recognize that through your experiences that you have gone through, through your, your healing, you know, um, your self-assessing, your self-care, your self-love, your worth, your, your your respect, being able to say no, staying, staying solid with those foundations, the boundaries, being able to hold that respect for yourself to know what's really deserving, you know, um, being able to understand karma clearing. You know, there's different things that will be given so many red flags like, hey, this is something that you need to let go of. Hey, this is certain things that you really need to, you know, see. Um, and these are the things that you have to really accept for what it is. And you have to give a, a, a warm welcome of gratitude to it. And a lot of times when you're going through things and the mess is really heavy and it's very br brutal. And it's like, how can I appreciate that? Why, why would I want to appreciate heartbreak? Why would I want to appreciate anything that made me second guess my own life, my own worth, my own essence? And this is just like, it's showing you, you have the power. To overcome anything that comes on to you, regardless of what people uh, has identified you with, this is not you. You can't allow somebody to define who you are, and don't allow them to, you know, coerce you to thinking, oh, okay, because somebody said, oh, you just constantly toxic, or why, why are you always, you know, you, they can uh, you. You always can identify everybody else's problem, but you can't identify your own. When you starting to trigger people in that vibration, it's not people. Let me say, you're triggering people's vibrations. You know, um, it, it can be, it can be a, a real truth teller. There's a lot of times people don't want to digest that, and there's a lot of times where we don't want to digest that. So it is just like a lot of things does not. You know, they're saying stop saying. You know, stop entertaining. You know, stop saying hello when it, when it were so many of your goodbyes. You know, you'll see different posts where it says certain things don't even need your attention. It's like a lot of times they kill people with kindness. Some things is just like it don't even need your, your attention. They say you want to pull that vibration out of not being hurt. Pull the attention away from it. You know, there's a lot of things that just, you know, it, it will just come up just for you to see are you going to entertain that. You know, allowing yourself to see, you know, what to look for. This is what you're doing. You know, if you're allowing certain things to irritate you, different things that um, that still stay rent free in your mind. You know, um, you're, when you're closing that door, and it's just not easy to close that door. It really isn't at times, but it's just like this is that that truth teller of that real deal. Holyfield, you know, you needed that into your life. You needed to be able to heal. You need to be able to find your worth through every challenge and situation. These are the things is like challenges is creating strength for us. And a lot of times it's hard for us to be able to see that because it can be very, very, very heavy. It can be, but it is also telling you this is humbling you. This is uh, where there's going to be a time in your life where you're going to see how many things that you felt like you didn't have the strength to overcome. You know, and you there you're gonna see the times where you identified and de defined things that was only giving your attention for you to be able to say, I need to heal from this, or I need to allow myself to, you know, um, see where I played my part into that, or um, this is a part of myself where I need to just to accept and let go. These are the things that I had to show gratitude to, you know, because there'll be different times I don't read stuff, and it's like you got to show your gratitude to it. What? You know, well, you show my gratitude to this mess hurt. This mess is making me want to catch a charge. This is certain things that I will slap and then go ahead and go to jail and then be smiling in a, in a, a mug shot for it. And these are the things that's like, no, when we're saying this, it's not saying that you enjoy being hurt. You don't enjoy um, being, you know, anything that's going to impact you in a negative way. These are the things that showed you where you needed to make peace with yourself with. These are the things where it showed you where you didn't have love for yourself. 
you know, or you didn't know, you didn't identify or you didn't come into that collaboration with your self-worth, you know, um, your dignity was shot, you know, anything that was in that, because it's like, there's so many different relationships and connections where I've said repeatedly. And then it's just like with me still healing from that, me still recognizing that, but be, me being so totally grateful for it, I can show just because of the things that I tolerated. Oh girl, you did not love yourself. And it's just like, how are you going to tell me I didn't love myself? Look at the things that you're accepting. Look at the things that you are bringing towards your attention. Look at the things that you are allowing yourself to kill. Still keep vib vibrating on, on thinking about when it was just showing you what, what you needed to know so you can be able to move on, so you can be able to heal and um, being able to understand at the same time. This is what you needed to know. Have boundaries. You know, stop allowing uh, vibrations of the old guilt trip you. Don't allow gaslighting. You know, um, don't allow yourself that you have fear that you cannot conquer or overcome this. You know, and these are the reasons why they're showing you that's where the gratitude comes from. This is where you need to appreciate that. And it's just like there are many a days when I can see that, you know, you have to congratulate you on your small uh, victories when you can wake up and have a full day of positive thinking. Or even if you notice that the um, old of old habits of toxic vibrations thoughts you know intrusive thoughts about yourself about other people you know about your situations about that chapter of your life you're going to identify like i don't identify with that anymore you know or you know it that's where they say get out of that comfort zone because that's where you were when you felt like you couldn't get out of that you got comforted by that you have normalized that and these are the things that showing you you know you have the courage to do that you have to be able to believe in yourself and when you're allowing yourself to work on that every day you know that that's your checkpoint like you check off where, when you want to heal you know when you're saying I want my life to become better and you're opening yourself up that universe is like we've been waiting on you girl we've been waiting on you man you know this is a part of yourself these are the things everything that you were facing they just really rocked the boat for you really hurt you really broke you you know had you depressed had you wanting to give up on everything even life this was showing you what the enemy or what the devil didn't want you to acknowledge when you're in yourself stop dimming your light your light can never be dimmed know your power recognize that power you have love for self if you can put love in everything that wasn't even reciprocated to you do you know how much love you can place in yourself and be able to change your whole dimension of how you looked at life you know that's what they always say if a pandemic can sit up here and wreck this just think about it mustard seed your faith can do you know and these are the things that's really showing you there's a lot of things in your life that had to be get wrapped in goodbyes you know but just being able to say I appreciate it you know it showed me so much of myself on how far I've become you know I'm nurturing myself in every way possible yes it's scary because I've normalized you know not giving myself credit that I really needed it you know because there's a lot of things you know you can be in that vibration like I don't know if I have what it takes to overcome this I'm tired of my life being this I'm tired of that and, and it's like we, we place negative statements ne negative narrative statements of, about our lives and we're wondering why we stay drained a lot why our, our lives feel like it's never changing and it's just like if we're not welcoming change how can change ever take place you know, it's not something that, you know, is going to be a walk in the park. It's going, to, it's going to get you to where you all up in your emotions. That's okay. Because you're allowing yourself to know there will be days I'm going to be frustrated. There will be days I'm ready to box. There will be days that I'm just not wanting to get out of bed anymore. You know, I'm just seeing everything is, you know, I see myself as a victim. I'm being pity. You know, I'm placing pity on my, my myself that I, I don't, you know, just allowing myself to just you know stay on the negative vibrations in my life allowing myself to be triggered about things that happened in the past was just that you know that spotlight on showing me what I need to just just disconnect from and you know when you're starting to do that you'll start have I mean when I tell you I get emotional about outburst and not in saying it in a negative way but a beautiful way because I'm seeing what held on I held on for so long not held on to me but me holding on to that because it was just like we resist a lot of things and I resisted a lot of things and just being able to say you know that transformation is beautiful you know there'll be different things that's going to pull up a challenge but it's just like this is how you heal how you expect you know life to be not going to give you no daggone sour opportunities of uh situations that is just like okay 
yeah, that was kind of irritating. Yeah, that was a very low blow. A am I going to allow this to really funk up my whole day and really allow myself to not do something that's very productive for myself? You know, no. And then you'll start saying, you know, that's that check mark. Because there's a lot of times that things will happen into your life that will make you feel discouraged and just shut down everything. Just close up shop to any kind of transformation that you're dire, you know, you're desperately needing at that time. And these are the things that it is showing you. Stop normalizing putting yourself last. You know, stop normalizing making everyone and everything a priority except yourself. You know, stop being available for everything and everyone that is not making yourself available for you. Stop, you know, allowing yourself to accommodate, you know, different things and different, you know, and different people that are, in, you know, a total inconvenience to you in your soul. You know, and all these different things is going on in your life, you know, especially with that Libra full moon, oh baby. Ooh, when I tell you that, that mess is really, it hit a lot of people and you probably felt it coming. You probably felt it coming like, uh, like for a minute. You know, and it's just like, I don't know about anybody else, but it'll be a lot of times I'll be feeling all out of whack and trying to understand what's going on. And the next, you know, somehow I'll drop that gym. Hey, it's the full moon of blah, 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 blah. I'm like, that's what that was. Oh, thank you. I thought I was going crazy, but it's just like a lot of times we feel like we're going crazy. No, you just becoming more woke. Yeah, that's what it is because it'll make you feel like other people are like, girl, you crazy. Dude, no, you becoming more woke. You're becoming very aware. And that will seem out the norm. That will make people be really questioning your sanity when you start doing it. You start becoming crazy when you become more aware. People are okay being asleep. Allow that to happen. It's like, hey, if you, you know, hey, I'm woke. You know, I'm like my natural red, red bull, my one hour energy. You know, it was like, what is that one hour shot energy? I'm like, no, mine is like, it is, it is, is reoccurring. It's staying continuous, you know, being consistent with that. So, um, you know, you're going through all these different things, and it's just like, give rep those. Tell me you don't need no presents back. It's okay. <laughs> this is my this is my bon voyage, and you're doing that because these are there, there's so many different things. It's like, you know, when it's telling you gift wrap those, you just don't know you have the presence of hello. You know, there are so many different beautiful things that's coming to you that is pre presenting a present to you. This is what you're getting because you allowed yourself to put yourself first. This is what you're getting when you allowed that love for you to come and add weight to it where you lacked it with that you have lacked your peace of mind you have lacked your your happiness everything that you have always placed ahead of yourself this is showing you this is the presence that you're getting and when i tell you when you start doing that you'll start feeling those emotions of like gratitude of appreciation like i you know because it'll be a lot you know it, it'll be hard for you to say um at times when you're going through oh i appreciate that loss or I appreciate the fact that door did not come open when I thought I was ready for it. You know, or I'm glad, you know, that blessing, I didn't receive that blessing earlier than I would have may have appreciated it. You know, because a lot of times you just don't know that it's just when God is saying it may be delayed, just because it's delayed doesn't mean it's denied. Just because it says no, no is always a, 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 a vibration of saying this is another opportunity. There's always a way around something. Especially, you know, if something's very extraordinary is going to hit your life in ways that it was very unexpected, it's never going to come to you easy. You know, when you do, because it's just fact, this is not something norm. You know, you could really have done something. You could have wanted something in your life. You really didn't have to really go in a grind for it. You didn't have to go hard for it. And you came with it like that. But there are certain things that's hitting you in your life differently that you really like. Okay, I, I'm, I, I don't work hard. Why am I not seeing the fruits of my labor? Why am I not getting this? Because there are certain things you still are clearing. There are certain things that you still have uh, not healed from. There are certain things that you're still holding on to. There are certain things that you still got your foot open in the door. There are certain things that you still not have forgave yourself and other people as well. There are certain things that you still are emotionally and spiritually attached to. And then when you're starting to see those things, then you can really digest that like, 
Okay. You know, and it, you know that that's when it's telling you that you're maturing in different ways. You're allowing yourself to glow and grow at the same time and appreciating that stage of process. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. Um, uh, like I said, I always you know drop my um contact information it's all about spiritual networking broaden the perspective of understanding your purpose on the deeper deeper uh uh vibration uh, uh higher frequency and i love to be able to do that you know i connect with people all the time and y'all share different things you tell me about the things you experienced um or different things that rise have you heard of this or is this normal i always tell people you know um never never uh doubt yourself whatever we're going through is not going to be normal so you have to be able to expect that nothing we're going to we're going through is normal a lot of things you have to understand when people with closed mind is really not going to understand at that level of depth that we have that we really carry so i always tell people you know when you when you're opening up to me i never want you to feel like you know i'm going to make you feel low or i'm going to make you um regret that you you know you share it with me you know i've been there where i was not understood you know i've been there where uh i was mocked for believing in certain things or uh, my sanity was questioned you know and those are the things I know what that feels like so I'm not going to do that to other people so whatever we speak on is confidential um, uh, and I help out the best way I can you know I, I'm dropping down new categories uh, that you know I've been guided towards to do so I'm expanding my platform and it's just pre pretty pretty beautiful I just love the changes that are taking place in my life as well as within me you know and you need to do the same if you haven't done that give yourself credit you need that you know you really come far you know far far away you know I came a long way you know you know and you're gonna keep going that way so um I'm glad to be able to broaden that perspective out when I um, get everything into a line because it's like anybody got uh, OCD and ADD that mess can drive you you're crazy especially when you're trying to do everything at a certain vibration so um, you know I'm hoping this can be able to connect with you in that way so I'm um, brought in that and I also leave my link to my podcast that I've been sharing as well you know I've been sharing them on IG and um, I'm starting back to share my my videos on IG as well as well as so my my other uh, social platforms. so if you're connecting with me like oh, over there and you're you know and you're getting that or you would love to connect with me over there you know hey send me a uh, request you know on that or if you want to dm me you know um go ahead and do that as well but make sure you're like hey Rosalind, you know my my um my uh, what do they call that uh avatar name is here 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 on youtube and i know you from this you know always let me know uh that this year you're from here because be sometimes i'm like uh who are you again you know so let me know that and uh, you know we can connect and go from there so also if you feel generous enough you know and drop a donation i always leave my cash app addresses there as well you know wherever um in the week this is this comes out hope it's like blessed and prosperous for you you know allowing yourself to go through the healing vibrations of transition is not easy and giving you that common healing vibe as well sending towards your way whatever you are trying to manifest in your manning you know I'm um, placing abundant and prosperity uh, prospectic um, pros prosperity vibes towards your way of it coming in so ways so many ways you never expected it because if you've been going through different things and really trying to find your way of in your way you know hey I'm sending that, that vibe to you because you truly deserve it and everything that you know universe wants for you and more so I'm sending that towards your way you know keep on going being consistent and persistent you know that the enemy will want you feel like things is not turning up for you and it will really get into your mind like that because you just don't know you could give up today and then your win was tomorrow so allow yourself to keep being persistent and consistent and uh, you will see me on my next video I was about to say I'll see you on my next video no you'll see me on my next video um like I said, if I'm, when I get ready to start doing my chats back again, I was trying to do it the other day, but it was just not working for me. You know, so I'm been so busy. I've been doing so many different things. So you know, when I when I get that that time out and really get it to where it's floating like I need it to be, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that and let you know. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm doing uh, hey, okay, support chat and vibe, or I'm just doing chat support. You know, and being able to do that, and I love the interactions, and I truly miss y'all for that. Um, so you'll see me on my next video. Much love, peace.